Coach, congratulations, guys. Um, the program's second national championship appearance under Coach Purdy. Um, first off, Coach, let's start with you. How does post game, how did, how, what's, what are you feeling right now? Just incredibly grateful to Adelphi, the athletic department, and the other coaches that have just lit up the phone, and so many alumni right now. There's so much joy I have that I could never explain the feeling I have to be taking this team back to a national championship. I guess you have always had that feeling over the years of maybe always the bridesmaid, never the bride, but the opportunity to get here with the two gentlemen, on one on your left and one on your right, and just this, this magical type of year this team has had. Uh, yeah, I mean, these two guys have just earned it. That's all I can say. I mean, we've had players go through E4, but the amount of passion, dedication, commitment that these two have not just given, but expected from others and led our team is a true reason as to why we are going to a national championship. Yes. I guess for, for Logan and for Dylan, coming into the season was competing for a national championship your guys' goal, your, your, your expectation? Uh, yeah, I, I would say, especially at a school like this at Adelphi, it's such an historic lacrosse program. It's, a, it's one of those things that's kind of expected. I know it hasn't happened recently that we've gotten to the final dance, but every year going into it, it's the idea that it's like a championship or nothing. So to come to a school like this, it's the mindset from the top guy to the bottom guy that we're going to the championship every year. I'll, uh, I'll piggyback off what Dylan said. Uh, we knew right from the jump that we had the horses and everything we needed to get there. And it just was time in and sweat equity and the commitment from January till now that got us there. So one more game and that's, that's what we're worried about now. You've played, I guess from Gordon, you've played this team three times in less than a, period, in less than a month. Uh, all three games were here. Did, did playing here, you know, what, what was, how much of a factor was that playing them here? I think earning the one seed was was truly a fact, a great um, help for us. I mean, everything got to be done at home, sleeping out beds, wake up, uh, and it's and it's been just really a process of just being ready. And I think playing at home gave us the opportunity just to be that little bit more prepared and that little bit more to be ready. Um, that said, I know we're on the road. I know we're playing Lenore Ryan, and I know that we've um, had a chance to play them before. I think we've played the toughest schedule in Division Two, and especially in the North. And I haven't played them and held them to seven in the past. And without a few guys that game, I think that you know we now know and we're going to be prepared as we can be for a Sunday. Logan, um, you guys jumped out really quick to a lead. Is that something that you guys had focused on coming into the game? Um, yeah, obviously we wanted a fast start because uh, we're well aware of our insecurities at the X and Kyle Stark did a great job for us. So our, our focus offensively is to just get as good possessions as we, as we can and to handle the ball and to put it in the back of the net. So yeah, we wanted a fast start and we honestly wanted to go fast all game. And we let up a little bit, but that's something we're going to get working for for next week. And, and I guess to that point, to Dylan, when they're making their run there, they're going to kind of push there in the fourth quarter. Do you view your job as you have to stop their, their their run, their push, their surge, whatever you want to call it? Um, I think it kind of just comes with the position. You know, goals are going to happen. It's a game of runs. It's a high-scoring game. Um, I mean, credit to their offense. Great players, great shooters. But uh, it's going to happen always, and you just got to be prepared for it. We always say, like, stop the league. Goals are going to come. People are going to get upset. But as long as we, like, stay together and make one stay, uh, save at a time, we'll be fine, especially in that fourth quarter. Coach, this was a team that a week ago, two weeks ago, you guys didn't win a single faceoff again. Today, Kyle Stark goes seven for 16. I mean, tell me what a difference it made to have some dependability there since he's been hurt the whole season. Yeah, I, I've been biting at the bit to talk about Kyle. Kyle gave up his eligibility to play in this game. Whether we won or lost, he lost a year of eligibility, and that kid wants to continue and stay in school in this and this program for a lot longer than he had, now has eligibility to do so. So for Kyle to say, hey, to this team of brothers, of family, I'm willing to give up a year of eligibility and the chance that I can help this team, he got the game ball today, okay? There is not a shadow in my mind, players around the country wouldn't do that, to put up a whole year of eligibility playing one game, and I told him possibly one or two face off if it's not working. But that kid worked his tail off since he got the ACL injury, and now he's back on the field. And I can't, I, I gotta take my hat off to Carl Stark for what he's given to this program.
Dylan, I want to focus on you for a second. In that fourth quarter, St. A's was really ramping up their offense. They were playing desperate. Uh, what was it about your play and the play of your polls that really helped you guys prevail? Um, you just, you know, fourth quarter, they're down. Shots are going to come. They're going to come from all out. Try, we, we always say, like, try to bunker down, protect the middle. Uh, you know they're going to come, keep hands on sticks, and just keep communicating. We don't really try to change our game because it's what it got us here, and obviously we were able to hold them under 10. But uh, it's more about just kind of staying together, and that's really important. I really can't thank my defense enough for it today. Coach, last question for you. You already alluded to the fact you're going to play Lenore Ryan next week in Philadelphia for the national championship. Um, you played them earlier this season down there. You lost 7-3. You helped such a great team to seven goals. Um, what's going to be the game plan? I mean, obviously you got a week to get ready. You want to enjoy this first, but last question. What's it going to take to come out with a national title? I think our game plan is going to be to continue working at the X, um, continue to work on sharing the ball, continue on bunkering down on defense, and, and, and uh, you know, minimizing the turnovers of a, of a game like the national championship. And I, I really hope that these boys go down and enjoy that experience. Uh, that's, that's my hope for these guys that, are, that, that we're going down for. I, I believe we can win this game. And I think uh, having played them and being so close without some key players that now we have on our roster, it's going to be big time. Uh, that, that, that part of it is a great plus for us. Well, Coach Logan Dillon, we'll see you next week. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.